222 day, we will be talking about render and the Apple Vision Pro launch. And uh, that means a lot for not just render, but the AI and uh, GPU industry in general. But of course, importantly, how all of that ties back to the render token and the network itself. So to just uh, introduce this, um, I wasn't aware it had sound, but that ad uh, was actually for the Apple Vision Pro, but um, he put uh, the render token icon on there because that is very well positioned to be the unsung hero uh, at this point in time of the uh, immersive AI uh, 3D rendered technology that is now coming to households. And it uh, all ties back into Apple uh, because since 2023, I think, um, Apple and Otoy have been uh, working together for their iPad apps. Uh, so the M1 and M2 chipped iPads can use Octane X, uh, which is the mobile version of uh, Octane R- R- Render, which is a 3D rendering program that runs on the render network. So they have been working together and there has been more and more uh, talk of more and more uh, partnership and integration as well. And of course they are uh, partnered up with a lot of uh, uh, other very large uh, c- c- companies that have that I have explained a little bit in the past, but the next one that we will actually talk about today is this one right here and a bunch of Trekkies will get excited right now. So here is actually what I uh, want to show because it's an example of what kind of technology we are actually talking about and a really good example of how the render token and the render network uh, will be able to power this kind of tech. So here's another example of uh, that I can tie back into that, uh, can't say STs, but yeah, it's right there and it'll be obvious. Um, This is actually the first Apple Vision Pro app that is completely powered by the render network on day one that is available right now. I'm tired of these uh, the things having songs in the background because I will eventually get popped on a copyright thing and, uh, it's a pain, but this right here, um, is a really good example of what, uh, the render network is capable of, uh, when paired up with the Apple vision pro headset. We'll spend a ton of time on that, but yeah, it's a good example. So, um, as far as he knows, this is the only Apple Vision Pro app powered by a crypto network, and that would be the render network. So, that is just the uh, tip of the iceberg. And for Render and Otoy to have an app available on the Apple Vision Pro on day one, I think that says a lot about the... Uh, working relationship and the partnership in between Render and Apple. 
So there's also uh, a render logo in the official app store now. So that is interesting. Uh, not sure what it's exactly for yet, but that is interesting as well. This app is only available for the Apple Vision Pro. Um, th so this right here uh, is an older one. It was about two weeks ago. But the amount of render demand will rise exponentially in two weeks when the Apple Vision Pro comes out and uh, begins the spatial computing era. And I included that because this one right here explains uh, just how exponential that actually is. So if we go to this tweet from Machine Alpha, uh, the CEO of Render and Otoy uh, confirmed it takes 1,000 times th th the GPU rendering of a normal 4K f f frame to produce content for the Apple Vision Pro, which is projected to have 10 million he 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 headsets shipped in the next three years. Uh, just think of all of the big brands from Disney, Nike, UFC, WWE, gaming, and f fashion, etc., that will all want to compete in this new immersive spatial computing era. And if we go back to the map, uh, there's actually a couple of those on here. So you have the UFC, d d uh, WWE, you've got um, Unreal Engine, which of course is in g g gaming. Um, you have D D Disney as well, uh, who is an investor. So all of those examples there are not just hy hypothetical. They are uh, actually happening now. So I did go back and find um, a few articles, but I will only uh, run through this one before I talk a little bit about the AI applications that Apple is actually working on that will require more uh, GPU demand as well, which is something that the render network uh, is concentrating on too. So um, this is from, I believe, uh, June of 2023. Yeah. And uh, it is t talking primarily about uh, the Apple and Octane X uh integration. So during Apple's main events that they introduced Octane X, a GPU rendering feature that that can be downloaded through the Mac App Store. Otoy is the company behind each of those. I guess it means Otoy and Octane X and its founder Jules Erbach also created a render token in 2016 to provide a d d d d d decentralized GPU rendering solution. So um, if you go uh, a little bit farther there, yeah, it's one of the sh shorter articles I found, but that uh, is a direct connection in between Apple and the render token, Otoy and the render network. So um, here's some more about Render, Apple, and AI this time. So there's a new version of, I'm not going to try to say the S's right now, with generative AI rumored for Apple, whatever that means, 2024. And uh, I think everyone knows uh, that the, um, the, I can't say the name right now, but uh, it's not very effective. It is possibly technically AI right now, but compared to a lot of other things out there, it is not a helpful tool. So with the kind of GPU computing power that the render network is able to offer, and since Apple is so far in with them even right now, it would make sense that... Uh, they could be able to roll out a very extensive AI uh, tool built into uh, the a a Apple products that could be much more 
powerful than what that they have at the moment. 